It is an issue people in Rochester may be familiar with, affordable housing or lack of it. In an event in Rochester today, cities from across southeast Minnesota coming together to think of creative ways to solve the problem. ABC 6 News reporter Emily Pofal shows us what they came up with. The Minnesota Housing Partnership. We help make sure that there are solutions so that everyone can have a home in Minnesota. Working together with cities, counties, and developers to expand affordable housing. MHP says in Rochester over the past 10 years, rent has increased 18%, but income has gone down 3%. MHP also stresses that investing in affordable housing helps the entire community. And there is not enough um, housing to attract the workers to support this booming economy. Something developer Rick Harrison understands. Harrison partners with Noble Development Group, and they're breaking ground on the first part of a new Northwest Rochester housing project this week. Now this spot may not look like much right now, but soon it'll be 524 acres of housing focused on affordability and sustainability. The development will actually be pedestrian focused, built around walking paths. The ponds of Highland Hills will include affordable homes at 50 to 80 percent of the area median income. But the catch? The zoning would be to put the lowest price housing at the front door, then the next price point, and the next price point. And then the lowest price housing is just never get part of that community. Uh, we reverse that. Harrison will mix affordable housing with market rate so that there's no low income area. They're just neighbors. The lower priced housing uh, buyer feels like they're in the upper end neighborhood and not pushed to the side. You're just making the quality of life a little bit better. And that's really our goal with this development. Having a home is fundamental to everybody. It's about a sense of pride, you know, I mean, and, and self-worth and, and value. Fighting against the disparities in our community in more way than one. In Rochester, Emily Pofal, ABC 6 News.